With this movie, we're going to begin building our frog body. And I'm not going to document every process involved, but I'll show you some that use the tools in a little more different, a sophisticated way that allows you to rapidly develop characters that have body parts that bend more predictably than you learned in the earlier movies, and that also have some features that allow you to engage the special effects to bring a higher level of sophistication to your imagery. This is the frog as we left it, and I'm just rendering it out. I have saved the file as Frogmaster Build 2, so you can get to this in the working files from this point forward. This file will contain all the body parts as well. I'm going to hide the eye layer. Let me close that up and hide that. And we're going to work front to back here just a little bit. I'll introduce this new type of concept of how to use some of the tools on a basic shape for the head, and then when we get down to the legs, which are going to be fully articulated and have some complex shapes, it'll make great sense about how that works. So we have our default colors here. I'm going to actually create a new style for our frog color. This will be frog green and give me the, the predictability of consistent colors between all the shapes while I'm originally or initially creating them. So with that, let me do frog green. We'll change the fill color. Actually, let me hide our color picker and we'll just pick you know, a nice mid-range green like that. And I don't want any line work on this. The same trick that we pulled off on the eyes for that outline around everything, we're also going to do to the various frog body parts as well. But I always like to engage this later if I have to, but for now we'll be turning it off. So let's look at the new way that we're going to go ahead and start creating some of these body parts. I'll create a new vector layer. We'll organize these later into their special folders before we start doing the rigging. Under the tools, I'm grabbing the oval, keyboard shortcut L. We have our style selected already as the frog green style. And that lets me know, actually I'm going to draw this a little bit smaller. We've got this basic shape right here. I'll come over to the Q to go ahead and do our select shape tool. I'll come down to our applied styles and choose frog green. I don't want any line work happening on this, so I will turn off Enable Outline. Keyboard shortcut T lets me get this position just about where I want. I'm looking for these red points to kind of line up with the midline before I go to the next step. The next step now is to go to the Add Points tool in the Tools palette, and we're going to just add some additional nodes on this shape. Now you'll notice it changes while we do this dynamically. And that is because Anime Studio Pro is creating very smooth shapes for you to save you a little bit of time. You may or may not want this, uh, and you can crease and sharpen these points, but I'm adding points in a fairly symmetrical fashion, and then I'll show you how we use these. So now on each side of the main points, I've added two additional nodes for a total of six additional points. Coming back to our translation tool here, we're going to go ahead and translate some of these points and drag them out to where they match up with the rest of the frog in the sketch. This gives us some nice smooth indentations that are fairly symmetrical. I honestly didn't want them to be super symmetrical. Our frog is kind of quirky and I want that uh, to be obvious in it. Let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit this down. So we get a little bit of a chin tucked in here. But this way, instead of trying to draw this shape, it's really easy to just use an oval, go ahead and create your basic shape, and then customize it. With that done, we're going to add some special effects so you can kind of see what's going on here. And then we will extend this to the other body parts as we work on them. The special effect for this layer is going to be adding a little bit of shadow definition to this. So let me go ahead and do that right now by opening this layer, and let me name it as well. We'll call this Frog's Head. Whoops, and I closed it by force of habit. So let me double click that and open it. I'm going to come to Shadows. We're not going to turn on any layer shadow right now, but we're going to turn on Layer Shading, which is a little bit different. This allows the program to add some kind of sculpted qualities to it by adding a dark spot. And we're going to open the shading color, and we don't want black because that's going to make it look rather muddy. So I'm going to pick a green, 
eh, darker green like that. I'm going to leave the offset and the shading defaults where they are right now. But you'll notice that the transparency of this color is right about the, well, 50% spot. The alpha is 128. The alpha channel goes from 0 to 255, so it's not a 0 to 100. So an alpha of 128 is about halfway. I'll go ahead and select OK. I'll choose OK. Now we don't notice anything going on right here. There's nothing special happening. Well, let's go ahead and do a quick render. We'll see now that we're getting some nice little bit of shadowing coming right under the jawline here. So I may want to actually extend this out by changing the feathering just a little bit. I'll close this right now. That rendered in front of the eyes. I'll just pull this behind the eyes so we can do that. A quick render now shows a little bit more of the effect I want. I want this a little more rounded. So let me close this. I'll double click on Frog's head. We'll go over to Shadows. We'll increase the blur and I'm going to double it to 32 instead. The offset I'll go ahead and leave it 8. Now let's see how this works. Then we'll go ahead and increase the offset by a factor of 2 as well. So we get a bigger area that's going to go ahead and fall into shadow. I'll open up that layer one more time. Shadows. And let's go to 16. Choose OK. And now we'll render. So now we're getting some nice types of uh, little shadow that goes underneath. In our next movie, we'll go ahead and take a look at how we'll add highlights in a special fashion.